Buckets at the spot this morning. You've been waiting for me. Oh my big boy. Okay, you ready? You ready for your breakfast? Yeah. I filled up his water bucket already. I put fresh water. That's a garbage can, baby. It was so windy last night that one of the garbage cans are like in the middle of the driveway. But keeps staring at it. You okay? You know, baby, it was raining. It was raining this morning. <sighs> so quiet out. It's nice and quiet. The birds were singing this morning. Oh, fuck, your head is a little wet. It's got his mixed peanuts here. There's mixed peanuts and apples. And his antlers popped out even more today. Wow. Your antlers popped out even more today. Slowly, but they're coming out. By the end of this month, I think, he should have them, like, out. Out, out. I mean, we could already see them, but they're going to be popping out even more. Look nice and clean, Buck. You got a little bath. You had a little bath this morning. It was raining. He's so cute. He's so cute. Let's push this stuff over. Okay. Give the baby a bath this morning. Dressed him, fed him, got him all cozy. Now he's taking his little nap. My husband's in the house with him. Today's my dog's birthday. She turned five years old, which I just fed her a nice breakfast. Gave her a treat. And then when I'm done with him, I'll go inside, hang out with my dog while the baby sleeps. Cause I feel so bad. My dog's been wanting to play with me, like wanting my attention. But every time she wants my attention, it's like when I'm feeding the baby or I'm dealing with the baby. When I'm not dealing with the baby, she's taking naps. I'm like, my dog's name is Ginger. So I'm like, Ginger, really? I'm like, when the baby's sleeping, that's when you should be bothering me. But she bothers me more when the baby's awake. And I'm like, I can't play with you right now. I have to feed the baby. But usually by the time I'm done feeding the baby and then I try to like get her attention, she's taking a nap. I'm like, really? But then I end up cuddling with her on my couch. So I try to give her attention, you know? I'm gonna push this aside. My big boy, you were hungry. You a hungry boy. Buck was hungry this morning. I hate the rest of his peanuts. I'll throw these on the ground for you. I don't know he likes picking sometimes peanuts from the ground because he's so used to eating them out of the solo cup and then falling. Go your corn, baby. You got corn in the bucket. You got fresh corn. Yep, go check it out. You got fresh water. Put fresh water in his bucket. Because it was so windy last night, I found like little pieces of branches in his water bucket and the corn bucket. And everything is nice and clean. Everything is nice and clean and nice and full. See, like I like, watch. I like overfulling his water. Water's nice and overfull. I put a nice size scoop of corn. It's good because Buck came on time. Because this morning, like an hour ago, it was raining here. So he must have been like, you know, underneath the tree somewhere. His body looks dry to me. It's just his head that's wet. So once it stopped raining, he probably came here to the spot to see if I was here. Because so I try to make him understand when it rains, like especially if it rains hard, I'm not at the spot. Like I show him that I'm not here. And then when it stops raining or it calms down, it just drizzles, then I come to the spot. So I think he gets it now. Oh, it's so windy, guys. It is so windy. 
is windy today. Today is supposed to be really windy, which sucks. Because I know Buck doesn't like windy days. I feel so bad. I'm like, oh. Buck is not excited about windy days. His body's starting to look lighter. You see the light hair in between? He's starting to get a spring coat. He's starting to get your spring coat. At least now he's having his breakfast. My dog, my son ate. My dog should be eating right now because I fed her. I put the food down and then I, I went outside. So I'm sure she's going to be eating like right next to my husband while she's eating. <laughs> and now this big boy is eating, right? So I fed all my babies. I fed my little boy, my girl, and my, my big boy. <laughs> It's nice out. It's not cold. Thank God. I think the cold weather, hopefully it's gone. Because it's actually nice. It feels like the beginning of fall. Like, you know when it's nice out, the beginning of fall, like it's not cold. It's just like you get that nice breeze and it's comfortable outside. That's how it feels like right now. Like a fall and spring mixed together. It looks like fall outside because it's so, like, gloomy. But it sucks because today's supposed to be windy, cloudy, and they said, like, little drizzles, rain on and off. So... All right, we'll make the best of it. Right, Buck? We make the best of it. Yesterday morning, it was raining hard. But thank God, this morning, it's just drizzling. But now it stopped. It's not raining no more. Oh, now we can see his antlers really good. You see how they're popping out? His antlers are popping out. Mm, let me stand up and go on his side. Well, I can on the other side. Hold on, guys. Oh. Oh, I can't stay sitting down too long now. Now since I had the baby, because I'm always like a grasshopper in my house. Like I'm always walking around doing things. So if I sit down too long, I get too like, oh, I can't. <laughs> I don't like sitting down too long. Unless I have to take a nap or something. But I'm so excited the apple tree came back to life. This is the apple tree, this stem. Because I remember when I planted it, it was like the middle of, like, all, no, the beginning of August I put it here at the spot. Well, not his spot, like on my side. But I got to move it. I want to move it closer to, like, here, closer to the fence. So when it grows, all the apples fall on his side. You done, big boy? Good boy. You need, you need some of your corn? Will you left some for later? Or at least you'll have some for later. Oh, he's probably gonna save some of it. Oh, no, he's going back to eat. You see, he wants me to sit down. I sat down and he went back to his corn bucket. He looked like he was about to walk away. But now that I sat down, he went back to the corn bucket. What happened? What do you see down there? Those are probably the squirrels acting crazy. If you hear anything, Buck. The birds are singing. All the trees are growing their leaves on them. This tree started sprouting it's like green leaves so little by little everything is growing me and my husband are gonna see how the weather is this weekend like if it's nice for him to go in there and clean it because i told my husband eventually you know i want to plant the seeds but not yet but i'm like itching to plant them i can't wait to plant them and just see this whole area turn green Find more peanuts. You're searching for more peanuts. You're searching for more peanuts. 
You ate mostly peanuts, all of them actually. You're so handsome, Buck. You're a handsome boy. <laughs> he picked up, I think that's a four leaf clover. Can't tell. Picked it up and then it fell out of his mouth. Come back to your corn bucket. He had to go check out what's going on. And then he goes back to eat. He's so funny. You funny boy. It's so foggy outside, very foggy. See, every time I look at the fog, it reminds me of like scary movies. <laughs> All right, everyone, I gotta get going because my husband has to get ready to go to work. He has to start getting ready, like dress and getting himself ready. I told him I won't be long, too long. <laughs> I was like, I won't be long, but not too long. <laughs> Buck is here at the spot eating. He looks nice and clean. I don't see ticks on him, thank God. Because I remember last year around this time, like the ticks came out early. But right now he looks good. And he's enjoying his breakfast. He had his apples, his peanuts. Now he's having his corn. And then I'm sure he's gonna drink some water and start his day. And I'm gonna start my day. I wanna try to make it fun today for my dog since it's her birthday. I usually, on her birthday, I play with her a lot. Like I try to play with her most of the day and always play with her, cuddle with her and give her a bunch of kisses, which I give her a bunch of kisses every day. But I just try to make her day extra special, you know, cause it's her birthday. I can't believe my dog is already five years old. Looking at her, she don't look like a five-year-old dog. She looks like a three-year-old dog. But I will be back later this evening with Buck's dinner video. I hope everybody has a great day today. I'm going to make the best out of this cloudy day today. I was hoping it was going to be sunny and like, you know, warm, warm out where I could take the baby out and just hang out in front of my house with the baby, like with a little blanket just for him to get some air. Maybe I'll do it later. I mean, it's not cold outside, so I probably could do that. But we'll see. We will see. But I'll post more videos of my son, like, you know, during this week. I can't believe it's already, it's already Friday today. My gosh. I feel like now the week, the days go by so fast. Now that I'm like a busy mom, like, you know, like a mom to a newborn. And like, I feel like my day goes by so fast because I deal with the baby inside the house, then with the dog, then I come out, deal with Buck, go back inside, finish up like cleaning or doing whatever I have to do, deal with the baby. And before I know it, it's time for me to go to bed. And I'm like, damn, where did my day go? <laughs> but it's all right. It's all worth it. I enjoy every day, every minute of it, of everything of my life. With the baby, with the animals, with my husband. Like, I have to say, I feel truly blessed, like, you know, to be where I am. But I will be back later. I hope you guys all have a great, great day. I hope the weather is warm by you and it's not crappy like over here, but it's all right. I can't complain because it's not raining right now. You're leaving, Buck. I love you. I love you, big boy. All right. He's probably going to start his daily walks now. Oh, and Red just got here. He's on that tree right now. It's hard to see, but he's in between those branches. Red is in there. Oh, he just flew away. Now where'd he go? Oh, there. Hi, Red. Hi, baby. There's Red the Carnital. See, Red the Carnital always comes every day. Hi, Red. Hi, pretty boy. He turns his head when I call him. Hi, Red. Hi, pretty boy. All right, Red the Carnital is over here chirping. And Buck is just leaving. He's walking off. All right, everyone. I'm going to get going. Red, you're over here, too? And I'll be back later. All right, everyone. Ciao for now. I'm sorry for moving the camera so much. I just want to show you guys Red the Carnival. <laughs> but 
I'll be back later. Everyone, have a good one. Ciao for now.